So here you have the uh, calculator application on the front page of the book. Now, it looks really stupid at first, but when you pair it with the pen, it works brilliantly. And what it is, it's just printed out key, uh, calculator on this micro dot paper, which the uh, infrared camera down the bottom of the pen can read. So all I do is I just start tapping away, and I can start doing some. So I say 2, 2, 5. So it's already displayed that on the screen, if you can see that. And then I'll find the square root. It instantly tells me it's 15, which is correct. And then I can divide it by 3 to give me 5. I'll divide it by 5 to give me 3. Whoops, my bad. And then I can also uh, find the square root. So it says here 9. So you can see that it's actually able to do all those calculations you might need in algebra or at school. And besides the scientific calculator part up here, you also have a financial calculator part and also statistical uh, calculator part. Now, I don't know if I'm ever going to use those, but certainly some business users will want to use them. And so they're there for you people if you need them. Now, also, you've just got settings. So I've got time, date, battery life, and storage. So if I tap on one of those icons, it instantly displays it for me. And then I've just got this keyboard down the bottom. Now, this currently isn't being used by any applications, but it has some potential as it's already been put in the books. And so, I don't know what it's going to be useful, but maybe some sort of texting, I don't know, typing in menus, typing in your name so you know who the pen belongs to, things like that. So I think that's going to be there for that particular reason. Anyway, I'm just going to go on now to show you the piano. So if we turn the page, and we just go to a fresh new page, here you go. Now I'll demonstrate for you the piano application. So I'll just... And there you've got the controls at the bottom of the page. So yes, these controls down here are for the pen. And I can control volume over here. Now you'll notice it's a tiny bit laggy as you switch all sun from calculator to piano. But that's because the application has to start up. But other than that, the pen works very efficiently. And I just thought I'd throw that in there for you if you wanted to know how well the pen works. So then here, down the bottom, I've got the navigation menu. Double tap in the center. Main menu. And so I'm at the main menu. And if you can see that, it says main menu. And I can go down. And I'll go to piano. Draw your piano. So it's just telling you what to do. There you go. That's the piano that you just draw up on your page and you can instantly play it. So, so there you go. Play the piano. If you can go up. And then you can also change the instrument. And then you can add rhythms. We'll just stop that. So you'll notice that, yes, it's a full piano in one particular way because it has the eight white notes, but it's missing the black notes, which is a bit of a disappointment for people who actually know how to play the piano. But you'll notice they'll change that in a year's time. And also, it's missing octaves, but that's quite easy to add in, and you'll see that come out pretty soon. Now, besides the piano application, there's also a translator application. It's only a demo at the moment, but it has potential to come out, and I think that's what they're trying to demonstrate here. So if you just tap on the menu... Main menu. Actually, I'll show you an even quicker way. What you can do is you can draw the menu. Tap in Main the center. Menu. Here you go. I've just drawn a cross, but then I can already access the menus. It works as a normal menu, so Piano. you can hear it go through the menu. Translator demo. So translate down. I'll tap here. Spanish. Now, I'll do Spanish. Now, it only supports 20 words at the moment. I think it's coffee, 1 to 10, things like that, goodbye, hello. But it does it very well. So I'm just going to show you, firstly, part of the application, how it works. 
song. I'll write firstly, hello. Hola. So it's actually recognized what I've written, and it says hola, which means hello probably in Spanish. Now I can also write one. Uno. Uno. It looks a bit better now. So I can also change languages. So I think I'll go back to the menu. Spanish. So it says Spanish, but I think I'm going to go down to Mandarin, which I'm learning at school. Write a word. So now I can write words, and it will translate them into Mandarin. So I might write uh, goodbye. So it's displayed the character up there, and it's also displayed what I've written. Now, this will only work if you write neatly. If you write really scrappily, then it's not going to sense it at all. But having said that, this is going to be a good way to improve your handwriting. So, you know, there's a downside, but also a beneficial side. And with these words I've written earlier, I can actually translate them into a new language. So we did this for Spanish, but if I tap on it, it's translated into Mandarin now. So it's... How can I put it? You can write words and you can translate them into any language you want. So that is extremely useful to use. So there you go. That's just a quick demonstration of the pen. I've only gone through the calculator, piano, and I've also gone through the translator demo. I will do another demonstration for the uh, audio playback and also paper replay. Until then, please leave a comment or visit my website at www.technific.com. If you've got any questions, please email me at francis at and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Anyway, we'll see you later. Bye.